What's up guys, this is Heiss, and today, AltFuture, the developers of Derail Valley, have released their recap for January of all the short videos they've released as teasers for Simulator. And I get questions all the time on, have I seen this, have I seen that, that's gonna be in Simulator? And rather than try and go one by one, I was waiting until they would actually post something like this so that I could do a reaction to all of the things for you guys, because I am so excited for Simulator. This is going to be so much fun. So without further ado, let's watch and see what they got going on. When is later? Yeah, every day until release. Godspeed, whoever their community manager, whoever's putting all these together. Yeah, cheers to you. I know how much fun that is. Yes, yes I have. Yeah. This is gonna make getting thumbnails so much less dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be cool. Oh yeah. There is something to be said for making digital scenery look pretty in a sim game like this. Yeah, that's gonna be really cool. It's gonna make for some really cinematic stuff like they're showing, which will be fun. Oh boy. <laughs> Half-life mode intensifies. <laughs> the battery life is limited. Oh good, so it's a horror game now. <laughs> you charge it every morning, okay, interesting. If you remember, I'm not going to. Train suspension. Oh, oh yes, this. Uh, yes, yes, this. So much this. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's gonna be seasick cam, but I mean, so cool. And not easy to program either. Smog to the valley. <laughs> Unhealthy, yes. Oh god. Comes and goes depending on weather conditions and explodey boys. Hopefully, maybe. Oh, that's fun. So I guess, yeah, confirmed day and night cycle stock now. Starting with off, yes. Uh, dim is not for daylight running. Dim is for when you're at a meet. Low beam for most cases, and a high beam for straight section. Oh, interesting. That's fun. And I like the effect there. That's not exactly how headlights work, but still fun. Oh, and then the, the marker comes on on the rear. That's really cool. <laughs> the track is so wobbly. <laughs> That's gonna add some vibe for sure. Gotta love Doppler effects. Makes every whistle just seem more present. Train yards at night. Yes, night switching. <laughs> Especially when fog comes down. Oh boy. If it wasn't spicy before, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's beautiful. I am really excited to get into this. Would you shun at 3 a.m.? The real railroad would. <laughs> a new way to drive trains? Oh, this is the UI thing, I think. Oh, no, this is the, the fixed camera thing. Alt key, so you can just stay looking ahead and not stare at the throttle. That's going to be really nice. <laughs> Because the amount of times it's like, uh, I gotta look for something, and then you end up binning it. Yeah. That's gonna be really cool. Oh boy. <laughs> now featuring wheel slip. Physics driven. Well, that's 
cool. It's not just a, a textured on effect. That's actually really cool. <laughs> For an authentic, I can't see where the hell I'm going experience. Diesel electric simulation. Yes. You know, a generator powered by the diesel engine. It's an alternator. Well, maybe not on this, but yeah. The traction motors may overheat. Yes, that is a problem. Particularly if they don't have a traction motor blower. It may not end well. I guarantee it won't. Must handle acceleration with care, but what if we've got places to be? <laughs> That's gonna be cool. Traction motor failures, okay. So we no longer just get, boom, glass shards, train broken, now we have specific kinds of train broken. Oh, that's pretty. But do the trains still walk on water is the question. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be, I'm excited for this. My graphics card isn't, but I am. I better run a longer train than I ever have before Simulator comes out, because I have a feeling that it's going to be a fair bit more intensive. Oh boy. I like the sound of that, because the wheel slip was always really annoying. But with what? Okay, well that's, I mean, that is how that works, so. Good. Cool. Give it sand! Limited reason. Well, hopefully not s super stupidly limited, but that'll be cool. <laughs> they made weather and day-night cycle just so they could make this shot. I'm calling it right now. That's cool. Yeah, this is going to be neat. About two hours. Okay, so... One of my episodes would theoretically go through a third or uh, half of a day, maybe. I'll make, th make, th make things pretty interesting. Yeah, cause. Okay. More, more vibrance and life. Scatter. Good. Ooh, speedy boy. 1990s. Da, da. At least for now. <laughs> don't you toy don't you toy with me. <laughs> if we get to play with cars too. Yeah, silly. Yes! No, I'm aware why it's called <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god, it's so much better! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. This is what I'm here for. That was a new locomotive. That's the DE4 or 3 or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for that. Load on the engine. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you actually have to... Stick the nozzle in. That's fun. But does it spray diesel everywhere if you don't plug it in? that That's the question. And can I set it on fire? Can I burn down the roundhouse? <laughs> that's a lot of gauges. <laughs> Fitting the self-lapping function. Cool. Breaker pan. Okay. And a handbrake. All right. And brakes, finally. Hopefully on the cars, too. That's cool. I like the sound of that. We like mods. We like skins. All good. <laughs> okay. Oh, interesting. So we've got... We can get three-step protection. Look at that. all the traction motors. Okay, like, so it's an old janky EMD style. That's fun. <laughs> I 
Support for complex setups in mods. Yes. Yes. G give me all the things. You slide the wheels, and it's a bad time, and it's a bad time for everybody. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna break stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not boding well for the way that I like to play this game. Well, it's fun. I hope they become functional. It's a lot to program, but that would be very fun. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's cool. Bad things. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Just a light show. That's it. Uh, something tells me. Yeah. Shutting the tra <laughs> traction motor breaker off. Okay. Individually cost. Yeah, they do cost a lot to repair. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's kind of how that works. Assuming you can cut out individual traction motors. On the real thing, at least. That's cool. Traction motor failures are, like, one of the biggest common actual failure on the real railroads. So that's actually really cool. The lantern. <laughs> yes. Good. <laughs> Gotta play Freebird while wandering through the yard with my lighter out. <laughs> Light goes in all directions. That's cool. I mean... It's pretty accurate. That'll be handy for when I forget to charge my flashlight. Dot JPEG. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun extra little touch. Improved MU connections. Okay. I mean, we already had MU, but. Fun. Oh, that's, I mean, that's a big part of setting up a consist actually, is setting that up to work. So that's cool. Glad that it does it automatically. That'll be neat. Oh, thank God. Q O L Q O <laughs> Yeah, pain in the butt. That middle engine looks cool. I don't know which one that is. They're adding like a, a hydraulic diesel and there's like a, a four axle and a three axle and it's all exciting. Well, that's fun. Oh god, the textures on the ground that are wet. That's really pretty. Yes. Oh, that's cool. God, look at all those. Look at all these UI things. Huh. Well, that'll be cool. It's a very different way to play the game. Oh man, okay, so thumbnail shots. Real easy now. Something, something, something. Ice, get back in the cab before you die. Is that the end of this? No, we'll still play it, stupid. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be really nice to get thumbnail shots and everything for videos. And cinema. I mean, that's going to be great. Rain puddles. Oh, that's pretty. Somebody needs to surface that street. <laughs> I don't know why you felt the need to simulate this, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I get there you go. Sure. 
That's the four axle diesel. Okay, that's cool. Okay. That's that's cool. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. I can't remember. Bar is like 15 PSI-ish each, so. And that that's true on an EMD locomotive, um, at least for the American stuff. Some other engines have separate air compressors that are not attached to the engine, but that's cool. What a neat bit of sim. That's, that's really cool. Reverberation. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I can just pretend that I'm driving my GTO and just pop the clutch and just rev it really hard when I go in a tunnel because loud noises, yay. Yes, I'm, I'm here for it. We do burn out some tunnels because we're four years old and we like loud noises. That's cool. There we go. Well... 15 minutes and some change of really cool updates for Dear Old Valley. Yeah, I'm excited for all of that. I guess Q2 this year is what they're saying. So hopefully soon enough. Um, best of luck to the devs. I'm sure that there's still plenty more to do to get it all finished up and ready. But man, some of those features in there, like the, the suspension of the locomotives, the <laughs> it's so stereotypical with me. The derailments, <laughs> the way that the physics look and the dust cloud and everything. Uh, it's going to be so much cooler than it already is. And I am here for it. I'm really excited. And the fact that they're also making mod support a little easier and better. Knowing the mod community, this game's going to be awesome when this comes out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at uh, my thoughts on the upcoming update for Simulator. And uh, thanks for watching, and let me know if you'd like to see it the next one uh, when the next recap comes out. So, thanks for watching.